Hi guys, I hope you're all doing well. Recently on the data mining site, we've got a very interesting god that might be coming after Dan Zaburo, the Tanuki guy, and that's Timat. Of course, the first deity from the really wanted Mesopotamian pantheon. And well, we've already covered Tiamat in some previous videos. I'm not going to do it again. But she does, of course, have one or two consorts and plenty of children to discuss. Today, we're going to be talking about her first primordial husband. Absy. Also, before we get into this as well, I do have a Discord server, so yeah, feel free to join if you want to chill or find someone to play some games with as well. But without any further ado, Absu was the primeval god of the sweet waters underneath the earth, opposite to Tiamat, who resides over the salt waters of chaos. As Ziggurun, another name of Absu, meaning the mother who has begotten heaven and earth, he was actually a female dragon. He was also known as Absu, Apison, Rishtu and Afson, to the Sumerians, Arcadians, and Babylonians respectively. As the counterpart of Tiamat, Abzu completed her, and was rarely depicted by himself, though he has been known as a fearsome serpent from time to time, and he also has been depicted as having physical form as well as an ethereal form, depending on which myth you're enjoying. Speaking of the myths, in the beginning there was only Abzu and Tiamat, whose waters encircled the world and came together, or in some myths there simply was no world and it was literally besides some chaotic muck, just their waters, their oceans. Through their union, the gods were birthed into existence, who sought to split their parents apart and form the heavens and the earth. There's a peaceful version of this split, and there's a more chaotic version of the split, and I talk about both in Tiamat's video, but just to give you a short version, that I suppose describes the peaceful version well enough, but in the more dramatic version, either Apsu and his wife are sick of all of the noise that their offspring are making, and seek to get rid of them, like a, a really, really messed up version of an abortion, because the children are already fully born, or the children are simply far too rebellious, or the gods simply plan to overthrow their parents. In these conflicts, Enki deals with Apsu by casting a powerful magic incantation or using a magical weapon to slay his father, then locking away Mumu, a personification of waves and an advisor to Apsu and Tiamat. In another version, Enki casts a spell on Apsu that puts him into a deep sleep, allowing the dragon god to be slain, because otherwise he's this fearsome beast that of course, as you'd imagine, would be pretty difficult to take down. Now, once he's dead, Enki fashions a home Fabsu's corpse, and decides to live in it with his spouse, and that's also the place where Marduk is born and raised as well. Absu's death leads to the revolt of Tiamat, and that's a pretty awesome conflict which you can find about just there on the card, I'll link the video. Thanks to the fact that Enki decide to fashion a home out of Absu's corpse, Absu may not just refer to the god himself, but also a sacred part of the watery depths where the dragon god originally lived, and of course, where Enki made his home. But with all of that said, that was our video on Absu. There really isn't that much to talk about with Absu. He doesn't necessarily do all that much, although what he does do is fairly important. And yeah, as you guys have seemingly seemed to like this series, a, a bit at least, let me know if there's any specific god from the Pantheon that you'd like me to cover. And Next, we'll either be doing another child of Timat and Absu, or we'll be doing Timat's other consort. But of course, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave it a like, and of course, subscribe to the channel for more content just like this. And hit the notification bell for good measure as well, they like that, the YouTube algorithm and all of that. And until the next video, have yourselves a fantastic day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.